Hello, my astrology friends. This is Lada from astrolada.com here with an emergency broadcast and interview with the astrologer Filip Filipov, who says he has some very important news to tell us about the eclipse on the 8th of November, which is actually a double eclipse, a very rare event. Hello, Filip. Hello, my friends of astrology. Hello, Lada. I'm totally, uh, how to say, amused that um, we are together again and I have ability to present something uh, very uh, rare in, from astrological point of view. This is uh, some uh, super uh, eclipse, which is um, not only moon eclipse, but uh, together with this uh, moon occultation in astronomical, um, uh, how to say, terminology, but in astrological terminology, we may say a super double uh, eclipse, uh, which happen, uh, will happen with moon. And uh, during the moon eclipse, um, she, the, the body of the moon, the disk of the moon, will uh, um, making eclipse to uh, planet Uranus. And this is a very powerful omen from astrological point of view. And this will... Uh, make uh, important events, especially connected with the, um, uh, the world and uh, in some point of view with American people and some global pro processes. And very interestingly, some of the events already happen. And if you wish, um, I will present some of the information with presentation only to, uh, yes. to show the situation, please. One second. Uh, please allow me uh, to, to share the screen. And um, um, one second to receive the sharing. No, I do not have ability. Uh, I, I enabled it now. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, and in, in this situation, one second only, yes. You may see here the situation with um, uh, Beijing. Uh, the interesting situation is that um, the exact process, the exact omen uh, happened uh, with Tokyo, with uh, Seoul and uh, Beijing. Uh, from these uh, places, we may see, for example, the, the moon eclipse, how already happened. This is uh, under the um, um, degrees and uh, very interesting part from Aries constellation, which means very um, active process in the world, uh, very ideological process in the world. And um, this will influence psychically to the people, spiritually, and uh, very intensive influence will uh, happen towards the um, um, procreative functions of, of um, humans because this is exactly under the sexual organs of the uh, of areas and this means this will be influenced only not only to the psychical functions but to the biological and sexual functions to the people which is a very very strange event and uh, let we see uh, how exactly the process uh, happen um, i will make the situation uh, with enough zoom to have ability to be watchable uh, from the uh, from um, all people in animation and you see here how the moon enter in this uh, total eclipse shadow process and now when the Uranus um, in the centrum of the screen you may see it and how the moon will shadow uh, Uranus during the moon eclipse. This is a very, very uh, strange situation. And uh, in this process... Occultation, isn't it? Occultation of Uranus. Yes, exactly. The astronomical term is occultation uh, of Uranus from moon. But from astrological point of view, this is a double eclipse because uh, in uh, astrology, we do not use the idea of occultation. We use the idea that some uh, uh, body from heaven a planet or star is totally eclipsed from another object. And uh, in this situation, you may see here how the moon is uh, in darkened situation. And uh, during the, the this darkened situation, she uh, 
shadows and totally removed the visibility of Uranus from the, uh, from the sky. And uh, this process, because here uh, we see very powerful uh, astrological energy, double uh, omen, uh, we may speak about the fact that uh, the processes already start to be realized in the world. And we will speak uh, uh, in this uh, situation because when we start to interpret the, um, uh, what is the meaning of this event astrologically, we will see that some of the events already happened, but uh, in astrological theory, in spiritual esoteric uh, astrology, we speak about one mm, situation like a cloud of events. Uh, and um, this cloud of events is something like a, a wave structure of uh, some uh, realization of cosmical omen. And the idea here is that the beginning of the event always come with uh, some smaller um, events, which is which are not so, um, how to say, uh, dangerous or prominent or um, powerful. And these um, events come like a first wave of the uh, causal event in our um, astrological uh, aura of the of the earth and humankind and then the major events start to happen and these major events normally happen during the the same process when it's happening in the reality or in this case around 8th of november and around one week after after um, the event but uh, normally uh, the whole process when it's so powerful um, develops and um, graduates um, in uh, one uh, process that develops till the end of the moon um, cycle, concrete moon cycle, which is around 23rd, 24th of November. But because this event so is so powerful, uh, that's why this will um, influence the human cat minimally two, three months uh, more. And we should uh, be uh, aware about this situation. And um, principally, uh, Uranus um, was visible for, from the ancient people uh, because um, in ancient astrology, uh, we have some facts, some very interesting ideas that Claudius Ptolemaeus, uh, when he described the sky, uh, before around uh, 1,800, 900 years, uh, this process happened because he used a lot of sources. Uh, he described something very strange in um, Virgo, where he described um, three stars with plus one, and he speak about the square of Virgo. And when astronomical and astrological um, researchers um, study this situation, they saw that one of this uh, square uh, in uh, Virgo was an, in fact uh, uh, planet Uranus. And after this, um, we know from uh, ancient uh, tablets, cuneiform tablets of Sumeria and Mesopotamia, um, that uh, ancient astrologers knows, uh, they know that uh, uh, planets in solar systems uh, solar system are much more than seven than uh, typically uh, are used in ancient tradition. This is visually very well represented. And um, uh, after the Gulf War, uh, some artifacts appear that uh, they have lenses and possible telescopes, which is uh, mind blowing from astronomical and astrological point of view in history of uh, science. And um, uh, some of the omens that we know are, are, for example, the occultation of Jupiter or eclipse of the Jupiter, uh, the eclipse of Jupiter happened during the um, exact period of time when uh, Jesus was born. And this was printed and explained on uh, some uh, monet, some um, um, piece uh, of metal on which uh, you stamp the situation like an omen, like an um, event on the sky, and this um, artifact was found. And this means that um, 
ancient astrologer work very well with uh, occultations. And if one occultation, like uh, eclipse of one planet, happened together uh, with um, moon eclipse, which is uh, normally uh, visual, visually well um, uh, visible on the on the sky, this will be enormously powerfully interpreted and will uh, change uh, the developments of many, many countries if this happened uh, in, into the past. But in modern time, we have one advantage, advantage of fact that we use the um, analysis of global events, not only local events in one region, uh, and we may study the process very deeply from astronomical perspective, how the uh, astrological lines are projected on, on Earth. Uh, and this astrocartography elements uh, is, um, they are very, very important uh, for understanding the, the process of, of situation. And now um, during this um, situation, which is, um, uh, very important for development of uh, humankind. I, I will present uh, what exactly uh, happened um, into perspective, um, um, how to say, like a configuration from several aspects. In uh, This is the horoscope um, uh, into 8th of November. And you may see here uh, how um, with uh, softwareastronomy.com, we may see how the process of um, double eclipse, moon and Uranus double eclipse, uh, we have here one tau square. And this tau square, uh, interactively, we may see uh, how many planets are uh, actually working in this tau square, which is one of the most powerful uh, configurations, uh, which very often realized um, super powerful events for personal point of view into one horoscope. Uh, and in global point of view, um, Tau Squares realized uh, major events uh, for development of humankind. And in this case, we have one um, stellium here of uh, Mercury, Venus, uh, Sun uh, and South Moon node which um, is in opposition of uh, North moon, moon Node, Uranus and Moon during uh, this eclipse. And Saturn is uh, forming the top, the, the peak of uh, Tau Square, uh, this uh, right uh, triangle figure. And this means that we have here practically eight astrological factors, which um, uh, is they are very active into the process uh, of this eclipse. And uh, because of this situation, we may speak about um, categorically um, very important events, which I uh, describe um, um, into one special prognosis, uh, which I al already um, published uh, in my uh, Facebook account, uh, facebook.com uh, um, slash um, Astro Philip and with simple F. And uh, here, what I explain this sign will be visible over Beijing, Tokyo, and Seoul, but applies to the entire world. According to ancient astrologers, double eclipses bring great danger. Uh, there is a risk um, to aviation, uh, electrical systems, personal computers, uh, all installations which can uh, connect some a very um, high technology, electrical cars, um, network systems, uh, which connect some electrical or informational structures in the world, as well um, as military um, risk, hacking risk, terrorist risk, and uh, mm, some major, um, how to say, shootings, how they happen in uh, United States on the basis of the psychical problems to, to some people uh, and some social dangers. Why uh, I explain this? Because Uranus, um, in um, the researching of um, modern astrology, these two, three centuries we, in which we uh, research this uh, planet like uh, astrological influence, definitely Uranus is connected with the 
uh, events which are happening into the sky, into the cosmos. Uh, this is one of the major uh, influence that uh, Uranus gives uh, to humankind like uh, energy. Then uh, we have uh, definitely connection between uh, Uranus and uh, electrical systems and all new high technologies that are using in one time process uh, from the uh, from uh, from humankind and uh, definitely uh, Uranus um, is connected with um, psychical development uh, the the process of psychical energy into human uh, uh, consciousness and um, Uranus uh, working with nervous system and immune systems of, of uh, people. And uh, from this perspective, uh, we have the idea here that uh, this double eclipse, uh, which moon, especially when it's eclipsed, this influence very much the psychic of, of people. But when the planet which rules, especially the nervous system, planet Uranus, um, uh, is eclipsed too, this is double accent on uh, psych uh, uh, psychological and psychic process to people. Uh, so on like the, mental, mental health issues. Exactly, exactly. This uh, is, will, will be very important situation for people which have a very, how to say, weak uh, psychical situation or they, they have some problems uh, on like a stress, like... Um, um uh, some problematic situation in their life all these um, people with not so powerful um strength of psychic uh should be very very careful and i will present practically how they may uh, research the situation in their personal horoscope practically and if they uh, have a powerful influence of this eclipse they should be very very careful this is uh, one of the major situations. But uh, Uranus is super important for spiritual and especially astrological development of humankind. And because uh, Uranus is connected with um, the higher thoughts, the uh, spiritual ideas, the innovations of uh, development of esoteric point of view, and um, after this, uh, Uranus is very connected with angel Irahi uh, and strongly with our angel guardian. Uh, and uh, practically, Uranus is the, the planet which uh, influenced the social, the social thinking, the collective thinking, the collective consciousness and um, uh, our connection with whole cosmos. And from this perspective, when Uranus is eclipsed during this occultation of Uranus and eclipse uh, of Uranus. We have two major strong situations. One of them, uh, because the ruler of all these functions in human uh, subconsciousness and consciousness uh, is uh, eclipsed and th this planet disappeared from the sky. This, from esoteric point of view, means that all these functions will make huge maximum of, of their energies. And um, this means that this is an uh, enormously uh, powerful moment for uh, spiritual people to work for uh, growing their consciousness toward cosmic consciousness and toward collective consciousness, and especially in the direction of protection of humankind from all dangerous um, events. And in this situation, people should be united uh, into the powerful divine idea of protection of humankind and all uh, nature and uh, uh, reaching the situation of one uh, peaceful development of our civilization and liquidating of all dark and um, army uh, processes that happen now this war process should be end and we should visualize this in this moment uh, why because when uranus is eclipsed the functions of uranus in ourselves will grow rapidly in one powerful maximum which uh, appear but this is for people which have some esoterical and spiritual practice and development uh, but for normal people, for not so developed people, 
this situation is very, very dangerous because for them, uh, we'll, uh, we'll have uh, one minimum of the energy of psychical development and for people that, which are not so stable on psychical uh, level and they have some weaknesses on this, this is very, very dangerous moment. And especially for uh, people which are brainwashed, which are manipulated uh, from some uh, evil forces to, to make terrorist acts, to make uh, uh, some uh, mass shooting or criminal um, situation, which is very dangerous for humankind. This is major situation which activate these people uh, on very problematic level. And that's why the uh, people of security of each country uh, should analyze the case and should work very intensively in this moment um, around this eclipse on 8th of November, plus minus one week and till the end of the moon cycle, especially. Um, and uh, because of, from military point of view, we have um, one case where uh, Saturn here is very powerfully connected with Aquarius, which rules, um, uh, we know, uh, Russia. And uh, Uranus uh, in Taurus uh, Tropical, uh, we, we have connection between this Taurus um, and um, Uranus there with Ukraine. And uh, this situation means that this moon eclipse is very, very dangerous uh, for the world development in um, the conflict between um, uh, uh, Ukraine and uh, Russia. And um, I think I think because the um, influence of uh, Uranus is very connected with the uh, electricity systems, with the connection with internet, with uh, all new technologies that are used, that's why possibly because the moon is eclipsed and uh, moon is connected with the nation, with the people of one country, and this happened especially connection with uh, uh, Ukraine. That's mm -hmm. why we may see uh, in this month, in November and around moon eclipse, very powerful attacks towards uh, electrical system and internet connections and all high technology connections uh, on Ukraine territory. And I think um, maybe um, huge percentage of their electrical system will be destroyed, uh, like a part of the of uh, this army process, which is realized uh, from this eclipse like an omen. But the most dangerous situation is the missing uh, electricity power uh, towards uh, atomic stations. Uh, and mm -hmm. this is very dangerous case. And uh, because um, atomic station, they need electricity. And if they do not have enough electricity for a very long time, uh, other processes may happen with these atomic stations. And hopefully, hopefully, a uh, planet which rules the atomic processes is not so bad uh, in function here. And I'm optimist that this is very low probability to happen, but this probability exists because of this powerful uh, situation. And uh, planet of uh, atomic uh, the atomic um, uh, models are connected to, uh, with uh, planet Pluto, and uh, all um, my successful uh, prognosis uh, that are connected with uh, atomic station incidents or problem with radiations. There are around ten to twenty cases in my public practice for eleven years, publicly in. in uh, uh, social network Facebook uh, on my uh, Facebook account, personal Facebook account is there, the information, uh, which is with simple F Philip Philip of dot astrolog. Uh, you may analyze 11 years of progno prognosing major events. And one of the type of the events is especially this atomic incidents, uh, atomic power station incidents, radiation incidents. And during my 11 year practice, this is around 10 to 20 cases, which I successfully predict the situation publicly. And um, uh, on the fact that uh, we here see uh, this um, right triangle, this tau square, um, this dangerous uh, right triangle has been affected since earlier November. 
and will be um, at its maximum power on the day of lunar eclipse. Uh, the tense cosmic figure is um, particularly strong because a total uh, of eight cosmic factors are involved. The Sun, Mercury, Venus, Moon, Saturn, Uranus, and two uh, lunar nodes. And uh, because um, I work here for the people in this menu, when they enter in their account in Astro astraman.com, they may go uh, in current configuration or future configuration, for example. And when they go here, they may see this tau square, how it's working. And if I um, click uh, here, I try to, um, one moment only, to present this situation concretely. Um, with N, when you write, you enter directly to the English version of the website. And uh, when we enter in this um, um, situation here, uh, we may see how, one moment only to, to get the exact uh, link that I need only to show. When you go to future configurations, okay, you may see here one list of major um, astrological configurations uh, that uh, you may use practically for personal analysis. And when you write here to, to see 100 from 200 uh, configuration in future, uh, you may see here the list of major configurations. And uh, especially when uh, 8th of November is coming here, uh, you may see the configuration, this tau square. And when you click here, um, you have ability to read more information for the configuration. And when you click on tau square button under the text, you have ability uh, to purchase uh, direct interpretation in your personal uh, uh, chart. What is the influence exactly for your horoscope? This is one uh, innovation in astrology software. Um, because this is personalized uh, astrology, which uh, you um, all people have ability uh, to use in real time for all major uh, configurations, uh, astrological phases, and other important events, uh, which um, uh, um, you may see into astraman.com. Uh, and uh, as with this link that I represent, uh, like a situation, you may analyze the whole situation for your personal influence. This shows that month begins with a great intensification of the military confrontation between the USA and Russia on the territory of Ukraine, from which millions of people across Europe uh, are suffering. The figure uh, shows that uh, there is a tendency toward a complete blockage of the energy structures of Ukraine, uh, but along with this, there is a very serious danger in plane crashes uh, all over the world. And I uh, wish to explain today to all uh, of um, your followers, Lada, and uh, lovers of astrology knowledge, how they have the ability to analyze is there some risk in their flights, in their um, aviation uh, life, and their um, plane um development how to say if you travel to somewhere uh, you should check is there one model uh, of a possible plane crash and today i will represent this information how every uh, one of you have ability to uh, to see this directly in astroman.com uh, after this uh, all over the world we have um, major possible problems and incidents into the sky and uh, in the uh, matter of fact, this situation already happened because this is one small event which come before the, uh, the eclipse. And this already happened because one big rocket of uh, China rocketry in rocket industry uh, start to crash toward um, uh, uh, the earth. And I published this information just several hours this event to happen. And I explained that there will be aviation risk and some possible uh, cosmic incidents. And this exactly happened. And is, especially in Spain, people uh, make uh, the situation that several major airports was totally shut down and blocked for any traffic. 
because of this uh, possible crashing uh, of this rocket of China toward Europe. And after this, hopefully, this rocket uh, do not crash to Europe, but crashed in uh, Pacific Ocean. And very interestingly, it, she crashed this uh, rocket directly on the line which uh, uh, is projected from the moon eclipse. This shows that this is one of the uh, first events that come to us uh, like an influence from, from this event. After this, we speak uh, here about cosmic threats like a solar magnetic storm, asteroid danger, UFO phenomenons, which is uh, very interestingly connected with all of these processes. And uh, of course, some um, problems with um, uh, during uh, some uh, putting the satellite of uh, in orbit or some rockets uh, which have ability to um, to go into the cosmos. In these cases, uh, all these models are not good for rocket industry, space industry, and it is possible we to have some incidents in this situation. The whole November is under this phenomena, especially Elon Musk should be very careful in this case and all other important major countries and leaders uh, in space industry. After this, um, electrical large scale incidents are possible because in models that I researched during this 11 years of uh, public studies uh, and prognosis, I mm, saw many situations where during one major uh, storm, uh, something happened and with some big city uh, was directly without electricity. This happened in United States and Canada history with huge areas from these countries. And uh, it's some of the cases, uh, this happened in Europe too, in Asia too. And when I analyze these models in some of the cases, in big percentage of the cases, um, some similar model appears. And um, after this, um, we speak here about um, living hundreds and thousands or, or even millions of people without power, electricity power. And this is uh, life-threatening, especially for people that need electricity for their life. Um, that's why um, people should be very careful around the moon eclipse and one to two weeks after the moon eclipse. Uh, after this, there is a hacking uh, pos a possibility for hacking attacks, major hacking attacks in all over the world. Um, and um, uh, this situation could reach um, unprecedented proportions because this is a double eclipse, not simple phenomena. Uh, blockages or de uh, deliberate dis uh, dis disruptions of internet and energy grid, electrical, gas, oil, um, it is very, very possible in this case. Um, unfortunately, um, there is a big possibility for terrorist attacks, mass shooting, or major public uh, incidents could uh, release uh, the new level of chaos. And unfortunately, one another event of, that is created by this um, uh, uh, moon eclipse um, was realized in uh, in Seoul, where the moon eclipse will be visible. And uh, when I make a pro uh, prognosis for this solar eclipse, which was again very strange, together with um, Mercury occultation and Venus occultation, exactly um, during the uh, one plus minus one day of the uh, solar eclipse, I speak there for humanitarian crisis. And I publicly push uh, one picture where uh, one of the lines of astrocartography goes went very, very, very uh, close to the um, seal. And uh, this situation was uh, two, three days before the event in Seoul, where 200,000 people was, uh, were pushed in very small uh, streets. And unfortunately, around 150 People was killed there uh, from suffocation, uh, suffocation and uh, they do not have ability to move at all and they unfortunately die. Uh, and in this situation, this is one of the major uh, other events which already happened and uh, was successfully predicted like um, 
like a topic, humanitarian crisis, and like a line very close to seal. Similar co cosmic events are extremely serious because they also indicate critical spiritual processes. Uh, there is an opportunity for realization of new steps in the apocalypse process uh, now underway. There is a high probability that around the double super eclipse, new ideas of the dark globalists will be announced for the creation of global government or some well uh, disguised with good words, impure deeds that will aim at the loss of the people freedom. Uh, for example, in climatic, financial, political, religious, or common human sense. And this is especially important. Why? Because uh, some rumors um, happening now uh, about some new religious event in Sinai, where the all religions of humankind will try to unite themselves uh, about the climatic uh, dangers of humankind. Um, and this is around the moon eclipse and double eclipse. And um, very strangely, uh, the predictions about what will happen in apocalyptic uh, period of time, uh, some of the events which was described in these texts, um, some of the events are connected with topic very, very close to this idea because um, Directly in Apocalypse is written that religious will uh, religious people will try to um, unite all religions in one religion under, unfortunately, the Antichrist figure or Antichrist leader. And uh, the situation here about this uh, was another another major uh, situation, which unfortunately happened and represent the true situation. What's happened? into reality and uh, what's happened exactly um unfortunately this uh, very um how to say very well organized and creative person elon musk uh create something very strange uh in the uh, how to say in the moment of uh, uh halloween and you may uh, see the situation very well i may represent the case um elon musk showed himself into samurai garb with the sign of the antichrist clearly visible the same mm -hmm. businessman is uh, businessman is leading a project to install chips in in brains of connect uh to and connect human humanity via the internet directly into the people's brains via a global network of satellites. This is one very, very dangerous situation, uh, which um, uh, we may see here. I, I try to uh, to show this to the people to, to see uh, the situation. One moment only. This situation is publicly available and already make a scandal uh, towards um, uh, how to say to all esoterically uh, developed and uh, human uh, spiritually developed people because they know the symbolically situation, uh, they know the, the the case very well. And if we see here uh, in one uh, enough um, image which is uh, big enough, only to find uh, image which is like this. Uh, we may see here what was the situation exactly. And um, mm, the whole idea is that uh, Elon Musk used the, the symbol of Antichrist, which is one cross, uh, which uh, is um, not in normal position like Christian cross, but uh, like a um, uh, rotated cross under. And you may see this on the chest of Elon Musk. And uh, this situation was really, really a uh, very, very dangerous uh, situation. Why? Because uh, from esoteric spiritual point of view, we know that um, the Antichrist will try to unite humankind uh, 
into one technological um, uh, slavery through the um, new technologies which directly connected the biology of, of humankind. And this will be uh, one very dangerous step toward uh, one artificial um, IE, which may have ability to be very powerful because of this connection. And we see here one, um, how to say, emergement of a situation. Elon Musk created the satellites uh, for Starlink. Uh, the um, network is very developed in the process now. Uh, he starts uh, to realize these 5,000 chips uh, into South Korea again uh, to 5,000 people. They, they are apart from this um, researching what they will um, feel with these chips in their brains. And uh, in one moment, just several days be before the moon double eclipse with Uranus, he represents himself into costume of Antichrist. My God, this is too much. This is too much. Well, it's interesting how they're trying to present him as a kind of a savior, fighter for human speech and rights. And it says in Apocalypse that he will be like, uh, Rudolf Steiner explains he'll come like a savior. <laughs> exactly. And, and um, I, I'm and in a strange so situation. Hard. Yes, I'm in the strange situation. Why? Because I like cosmic technology rocket development, going to Mars, going to stars. I like this very much. And I following this person very, very strictly to see all news, what, what happened with him. But when I understand about chips, when I understand about Starlink um, network, which uh, is very problematic from astrological, from astronomical point of view, uh, for watching the sky, when you feel the influence of this internet um, signals directly to your biological structure, I start to feel that here it is uh, some problem with this person. And now when he represents himself in the costume of Antichrist, of course, in Halloween condition, because he may say, oh, no, no, this is just joke. This is a joke, okay. No, this is not a joke, people. This is very serious because it's happened uh, with two, three steps, global uh, internet, connection to the brains, and be several days before moon eclipse uh, with Uranus, which is very powerful, connected with all this new technology, you see this situation directly. Uh, this is By the way, one of, one of the viewers just wrote, uh, she's from Egypt, and she said that uh, they're starting a climate conference today in Egypt. All world leaders will be there till the 18th of November. And you said some decision will be taken during this period on the climate change or whatever that can be very uh, dark, uh, the eclipses, and uh, that will be presented as very humanitarian and uh, necessary for us. So this is exactly this event, which was rumored that in the uh, society, and we know that uh, they will try all religions to be united in one, for example, 10 new commandments that coming on Sinai. Very, very interesting situation that this 10 new commandments will be announced like a new 10 divine commandments for climate uh, mm -hmm. changing situation and removing the freedom of people through some ideas of this climatic uh, 10 commandments. This is the rumors that will uh, mm -hmm. that have ability already to be uh, listenable uh, in the situation. And in, very interestingly, why they do this exactly in the um, process of the moon eclipse to Uranus. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. means directly that these people using the sacred divine science, astrology, the first divine science that we have directly from the cosmic consciousness of Christ, like a spirit of the sun, uh, for dark forces, for mm. dark doings. And this is a really very, very serious situation. And we, we should be uh, enormously careful in, in this case. But what will happen uh, with United States? Because we know that a very important election um, happen, uh, will happen exactly into the, um, how to say, in this period. This eclipse also shows that new uh, 
manipulations are being prepared for the upcoming USA elections on which the, uh, the fate of not only Americans, but the whole world depends. Uh, the Marxist-Leninist Democrats uh, in the USA will fight tooth and nail to once um, again falsify the will of people through the voting machines, which is exactly connected with the Uranus technology and model, which are already the benchmark for mass fraud mass, uh, and manipulation standard in the whole world. We have the same problem here in Bulgarian condition. Uh, they use uh, the machines and now all major parties understand that these elections was totally falsificated. And we saw what's happened in the last major election in the United States where around 1 million diet persons was used for voting to somebody which we careful, careful there all. now they can they can stop the youtube channel <laughs> we have to be i hope i hope uh, this will not happen but uh, these are the rumors i just citate what happened in the situation and we may reach this information directly in the internet and uh, that's why uh, all americans should be very careful about this elections because the destiny of the world depends from this election. Uh, there are forces in United States which should work here and uh, should help this war that's happening in Ukraine to be stopped. And that's why I think uh, this is a very major situation in the United States on political level. But uh, let we discuss how people esoteric level just quick question exactly exactly esoteric knowledge just to ask okay so dark forces are in power now but aren't they very powerful uh initiates in high positions that can influence from the good ones <laughs> or uh is it or is it like it sounds so doom and gloom <laughs> i mean no 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 uh, dark forces not in power they are not in power now uh, now we are in the period when Christ forces, the light forces, are in power and they work very, very intensively on human level, on the physical level. Seven great initiators, uh, these seven great Mahatmas are on the physical level through all humanity and they work together, directly connected with um, uh, Archangel um, Michael, which is now into the function of Archaeus, which is much higher and powerful function. And uh, Michael is in the function of the spirit of the time in our epoch. And after this, we know that leaders like Christian Rosenkreuz, Master Jesus, uh, uh, Bodhisattva Maitreya, and all other great Christian uh, uh, teachers and leaders will totally work uh, for saving of humankind and um, how to say enlightenment to the humankind. And that's why we have spiritually abilities here to, to work about this level, to work consciously on cosmic and collective consciousness or, and development of astrology. And uh, that's why uh, we are into one good period because these apocalyptic times um, are very good for spiritual people because we have ability now to grow spiritually and spiritually in this very strange time. Um, so and you're saying that the, the change will come not from leaders and top, from, from just normal people and the chemical processes happening in our hearts. Exactly. The, on esoteric level, um, this uh, apocalyptic time uh, will grow the number of spiritually esoteric developed people rapidly and i'm i'm optimist that maybe this will reach half a billion of people all over the world or one billion of people which will be major super evolution of of uh, humankind in total and uh, all these dark forces they they uh, work with secular system they work with political power they work work with uh, some false religious leaders and so on and um uh, we should know from esoteric point of view how to um, how to say how to understand the situation and how to know which is the part from the of the light and divine forces of Christ 
and which is the influence of the dark forces. And mm -hmm. um, in spiritual point of view, every one of us is, um, how to say, obliged to work with uh, high esoteric knowledge and astrology especially, because with this we have advantage to understand the process deeply. And uh, I wish to represent how all of these um, uh, followers of your beautiful channel and all uh, people that study astrology have ability to put their um, registration and account uh, into astramen.com. And when they say enter in their horoscope, this is one um, example of horoscope, they may go here to prognosis uh, tab. Please put this and make this into laptop or computer or big tablet, not on small telephones because it is not uh, possible to understand nothing with so much information. And when you go to prognosis, you may choose the first one, the short term thematic prognosis. And here, you have ability to watch uh, one graphic, uh, which I already put like analysis for on the health level. Uh, then I uh, put the love um, analyzing. Uh, then I put the professional analyzing and uh, spiritual graphic to, uh, to the process. Now I will put, for example, the financial graphic. It's very easy to put it. You just click here on 30 days. And when you uh, pay this small amount of information uh, to be analyzed, to be calculated, this is important case, uh, you get this graphic directly. And this graphic in one mathematical form visualized to you, is there some danger on financial situation into your uh, personal uh, chart? And for example, when one person should travel somewhere with airplanes in very dangerous period of time. First thing that you should make, you should analyze the graphical prognosis of health processes, the first graphic. And you should see exactly around the moment of traveling, let me take the situation that the moment of traveling is exactly on 8th of November. Uh, if you see here the graphic to make a uh, deep mi minimum like here, for example, if this minimum was here, we directly we may say that this is the problem which uh, may produce one health problem. But if there is a major risk for the person, we should go to this third graphic, third from down, which is called graphical prognosis of dynamic of the risk. And you may see here for this person that there is a minimum here, deep minimum around minus eight. When you have graphic, which is under minus seven, minus eight, like a minimum, you may see that this is the major uh, dangerous situation into the horoscope of the person. And if the graphic of health make deep minimum and the graphic of risk make deep minimum together into the moment of traveling with airplane, people should not travel. People should uh, use other moment one day before uh, or um, one week uh, around this uh, moment of this deep minimum which have ability to be created on these graphics. This visual thematic analysis uh, of, of the graphics uh, are based on algorithms such that I created on the basis of mathematical analysis of personal horoscope and dynamic of the transit prognostical information into mathematical form because people uh, very visually directly get the information into their from the, their horoscope and they have the thematic uh, ability to understand which topic from them is very important and in this case if this person which is born in 3rd of january 63 um, uh, ask me if i should travel with airplane or not because I see here good maximum on this period and because uh, there is a not so big minimum into the risk graphics, uh, but minimum, I may say, yes, there is a risk, but there is no risk for your health. And uh, this risk is only, I think, in other situation. And let me see where is another minimum in, in this case. Uh, one of the minimums is here in spiritual graphic of 11 of November. 
and another minimum is on professional level on 9 of November. This means that person have a risk situation on professional and spiritual level, not uh, love level, not health level. And with this, every person very easily have ability to analyze and to have personal prognosis for himself uh, three months in the future, because the maximum period that you have ability to choose here is um, with this button that I show, for example, the button of sexual energy, you may press 90 days. Okay, and when you press 90 days, you will have analysis for three months into future, into graphical form. And uh, you may see here the, the graphic very well represented. And one important thing, if you use here this uh, blue button here, uh, blue error, uh, you may uh, put the graphics in the big screen and then analyzing the situation is much easier and have ability to, to see all the information of for every details. And when you show one datum, you see exactly which aspects uh, working with this algorithm in graphical form create the situation. And uh, this is very innovative situation. And for people, do, they do not understand graphics you may use the bottom calendar and with this button calendar you immediately have information for uh, each datum into one color legend and here you may see exactly explanation which color what exactly means and with this practical innovation uh, all people in astrology have ability to work directly uh, very easily visually thematically on around 10 important uh, topics of uh, their personal life and uh, from this perspective you may see how innovative is our school of astrology ladder uh, yeah. we powerfully <laughs> An amazing yes. Tool. yes and uh, we do not use only three-dimensional horoscopies which is directly accessible here from this button or from this 3d tab but um, uh, we have interpretations and we have phases here and you if you have if you go to phases, you may see here major phases that are here. And each of these buttons have ability to give you ability to, to uh, interpret the event and to make, to understand what's happened. And you may see here that moon eclipse and Uranus lunar occultation is happening in one and the same period of time of 8th of November. And you access this information directly into astramen.com and you have ability to interpret it. And the very important thing here is that uh, I soon will create much more phases, uh, which I will put like analysis here. And I will work for um, interpretation of these phases to, um, to um, people to have this ability to analyze their horoscopes and prognosis on their horoscope. Okay. And uh, let I show here the, the map of the moon eclipse. and um, and especially the occultation of Uranus. And you may see here from where, from where exactly uh, the whole this process is uh, have ability to be watched in Tokyo, in whole Japan, in um, uh, Korea Peninsula, uh, it's possible to see into Pekin. And uh, I already explained that there is a major airplane risk here. And unfortunately, uh, one of the major events which have ability to be understand it here is one another model which appeared just before the this very powerful moon uh, and uh, Uranus eclipse. Uh, the situation was the fact that um, a new, rather dangerous one kilometer around asteroid was just discovered, and this asteroid. Um, un was announced that uh, there is in future possibility to cross the Earth orbit, which is very powerful, major risk. And this, because this happened just uh, like announcement just before the moon eclipse, uh, I should say that um, uh, unfortunately, the major cosmic uh, dangers like uh, uh, explosions, like a solar eruptions, like a asteroid uh, crashing to the Earth they are under the Uranus um, al algorithms 
and when Uranus is not in good function, uh, he presents uh, like uh, events on the Earth and humankind, uh, which are coming on on this major cosmic level. And um, I wish to say that in future, in future, one very interesting model appear here. They just announced from NASA that they have ability to change the orbit uh, of one asteroid. Okay, they say this. We will change one orbit of one dangerous asteroid to go away from Earth. But every knife has ability to be used for cutting bread or using it for uh, butter or for killing. If you have astronomical science and if you have ability to move the asteroids, why uh, they do not have ability to use this to make uh, asteroids like a weapon? And uh, there are rumors for around 10 to 20 years that this is the major task uh, which uh, have ability to be used uh, like a cosmic weapon. Um, some other gravitational weapon um, is already developed from Russia and uh, they start to announce this information, but they use satellites, not asteroids. And uh, when NASA explained this in <laughs> before several weeks, uh, this was one major event because um, this information is deeply connected with the future development of humankind and surviving type of, of humankind, not using this new ability of humankind for mm, destructive um, ideas. And uh, from a um, spiritual point of view, let me see what exactly happened here into three-dimensional software. This is... Um, three-dimensional point of view about uh, SIL exactly. And if we zoom here, you we may see here how Mercury, Sun, Venus are, are in uh, under the horizon and they prepare the opposition uh, for um, this uh, moon eclipse. And when we zoom in to the, to the moon and uh, we may zoom more from this plus down, Okay, let me turn on um, in English, of course, let people to see this. Okay, and uh, we use Sumerian Zodiac and we use Zodiac and, uh, for example, uh, Dodecatemorias, which uh, are very important in prognostic uh, point of view. And if we use the exact disks and symbols of planets, we, we have ability to understand in which Dodecatemoria this uh, will happen. And this will happen into Sagittarius Dodecatemoria of Aries, which is exactly the Dodecatemoria which rules the um, major events on spiritual leadership level. Because uh, Sagittarius is the, the uh, how to say, one of the most powerful uh, spiritual um, uh, zodia and constellation. And when the Dodecatemoria of Sagittarius into big sector of areas like a uh, um, Shumerian, Babylonian zodiac, uh, sidereal zodiac we use, we may speak that uh, this situation is connected with spirituality and with uh, leadership and uh, areas, of course. Uh, and in this situation, um, you see, they make a conference of religious uh, situation of uh, spiritually connection of uh, development, some uh, ideas of global uh, development of humankind towards some religious situation. This is exactly this Dodecatemoria. And um, if we turn on the the degree level, let I switch on the okay term. Let me put first first term. Yes, this is the Mars uh, term. Uh, into areas which is exactly super connected with uh, uh, war situation and this eclipse is dangerous for the wars and uh, on uh, degree levels on monomoria levels uh, this eclipse is connected with again with the mars degree and sun degree which um, i think it's more connected with mars degree which influence too much the uh, war situation uh, and or war influences um, in the in the case. That's why with the methods of ancient astrology and uh, the methods of three-dimensional astrology, 
we may understand this uh, major event in deep, deep details, which is not possible without this instrumentarium and not possible without understanding the methodology of ancients. And uh, if you have some questions, I may say something which is uh, important. Uh, mm -hmm. I wanted, like you did last time, I really like it how you mix both the tropical zodiac as the external developments and the sidereal below as the deep reasons. Like, because one is Taurus and the other one is Aries, if you can do that. Yes. Okay. Uh, for this case, for example, I just switch on, on tropical zodiac. Okay. And we see here that this is the sector of Taurus. Uh, and only small amount of Taurus is uh, in this sector. But this is important. The uh, sidereal gift, the archetypical, the spiritual, the global uh, level of this influence. But uh, tropical give the information for details, what may happen into practical, physical, social reality. And we see here that this uh, moon eclipse is uh, in Taurus, which influence all countries which are under the Taurus uh, situation. And um, after this, uh, we may see that the terms here are different. This is the term, for example, of Jupiter in Taurus, which um, is the wealth on the nature, uh, the wealth and uh, how to say religious power and political power about the nature. This is exactly interpretation uh, of the clim climatic um, conference uh, of um, on political level. And one working for um, global uh, government and um, health or climatic or financial structures which are developed on global um, government, for example, which is the, the influ influence which humankind should develop by spiritual way, but not by the global materialistic way. Uh, which unfortunately we see in total, but this will be managed by Christ, which ruled the whole evolution of humankind now. If we turn on the Dodecatemoria, we see that the Dodecatemoria is in, in uh, Scorpio uh, Dodecatemoria uh, under the Taurus, which means one uh, crisis events on um, connection with nature, with uh, all living nature, because Taurus is this symbology, the uh, situation which is uh, very deeply connected with development of, um, of um, our connection between humankind and na uh, living nature of Earth and the whole Earth in like a being. And if you see here, this Dodecatemoria is exactly on the uh, peak of the face, the, the nose of the this enormously powerful whale, uh, uh, which is uh, one dangerous constellation, which shows the crisis, dangerous uh, events, which happen like a mythological uh, situation around the crucifixion uh, of Andromeda to the uh, stones. Um, and this uh, monster just coming toward her to eat her uh, was uh, destroyed, was turned in stone by a powerful uh, weapon of uh, uh, Perseus, which uh, he used a Gorgona Medusa eye to turn on this um, monster into the stone. But this monster shows the destructive, powerful uh, nature um, uh, disaster situations and all. Um, uh, events like um, problematic events on the uh, earthquake level, on the, um, for example, tsunami level, a dangerous situation which happened with the nature elements, uh, storms and so on, uh, fires and all these things uh, which happen in living nature are under the whale, um, and which is um, Cetus, like a Latin version of name. And uh, very interestingly, this uh, eclipse is connected with this. And we speak here about one crisis, Scorpio, Dodecatemoria, connected with the uh, nature element, the living nature, Taurus, in tropical uh, coordination. And if we turn on here the 
uh, Molomoria, the degrees, you see here that this is exactly on the moon um, degree, 17 um, tropical moon degree, which um, is uh, how to say this is um, this um, system, this algorithm for uh, degrees are directly from Hermes methodology and uh, is based on fractal principle of astrology, which we developed a lot in our school. If people read uh, my paper about scientific uh, explanation of astrology, scientific uh, understanding and scientific theory about what is astrology like an event and phenomena in global universe, not only in our planet, you may understand this situation by fractal uh, mathematics and philosophy and a fractal understanding of the consciousness, which I developed personally, uh, like a scientific theory about astrology and my research into the level of consciousness. And we see here that moon degree is very powerfully activated during this uh, eclipse. Uh, and uh, this means that people, their psychic, their biology, their subconsciousness, their imagination will be powerfully influenced by this double eclipse. And um, when we work with the ancient methodology, we may unite all this interpretation, not only about sidereal, but uh, tropical interpretations. And we may see the interpretation of this uh, eclipse much more deeply on outer level and deeper spiritual level. Okay, some other question do you have? Okay. Lala, uh, I wish to. I yes, you have. Sorry, I can't hear you. My parents came, so it's crazy here. <laughs> no problem. Okay, I will finish the the lecture and explanation with some major information. Uh, here on December, we we have uh, eight, ninth, and um, no, uh, nine, tenth, and eleven of December. Nine, tenth, and eleven of December. We have. Uh, uh, European Conference of Astrology, where around 20 major astrology uh, leaders uh, from whole Europe, around uh, 20 countries, and uh, some of the um, lecturers will be from uh, Iran. One of the lecturers will be from Iran. Um, and uh, a lot of, uh, how to say, advanced astrologers will speak publicly in Zoom conference which will be very easy accessible and uh, I will give information in my uh, website astraman.com into my uh, Facebook uh, profile fb.com um, slash um, line uh, astrophilip and uh, the access will be very cheap around 15 uh, euros and uh, with this uh, you may access major scientific uh, event conference which is European pan-European conference, uh, which is the fourth conference till now. Uh, and this uh, conference is based now virtually in Istanbul. And my friend, uh, Onyer Ducher, will be the, uh, how to say, the major host. And I am the uh, host helper into this uh, European, uh, pan-European co uh, conference. And uh, from, from this perspective, uh, we uh, have ability to 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 use the this information and to study much more deeply uh, astrology levels. Of course, uh, some other news I wish uh, to uh, represent too. With Lada, dear friends, uh, we prepare the possibility uh, to to make a, a cycle, a big cycle of uh, seminars about. Uh, spiritually esoteric developed astrology uh, into the, this mystical archetypical analysis of astrology on the base of three-dimensional astrology and the methods of ancient astrologers. That's why be prepared about this. We plan um, one time, maximum two times in the month, uh, but majorly one time in the month to make in English, uh, uh, seminars about this, and I will present the this much developed and higher astrology on the basis of ancient tradition, on the sources of the ancient astrology, like books and texts, 
and temples. This is very important, not only books, but temples of ancient astrology. Uh, we will develop with this high three-dimensional uh, methodology, which I uh, represent each time. And uh, I'll make uh, seminars about this, how people have ability to use this knowledge, to practice this tradition. Uh, and because this is spiritual path, I will give a lot of methods for development of consciousness toward this cosmic consciousness, which uh, the spirit of the sun gives to us. I'm very excited about that, Philip. I'm excited to learn as well this new ancient esoteric astrology and, and improved <laughs> and expanded ancient esoteric astrology. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. This was a lecture in its own, so many different topics. And I wish you all peaceful times during the eclipse. I wish you to manifest the highest possible of this eclipse in your personal life, no matter how it manifests in the world. Thank you again for your deep knowledge, Philip. And I can't wait to uh, start <laughs> those courses. <laughs> yes, these courses. People let they come to the conference uh, in December. This is a very important major global event because around 20 countries all over the Europe uh, are united in scientific and ancient classical astrology. And I ask our friends in this channel, dear friends, pray, meditate for peace, for protection of humankind, for development of cosmic consciousness and global collective consciousness of humankind, because we do not live only in apocalyptic time. We live in one of the best moments for our spiritual evolution. And we should use this moment not only for our personal uh, aims, but, but for the development of all humankind. That's why pray and meditate for peace, harmony, and enlightenment of humankind. Amen. And on that note, thank you everyone for joining us. Thank you.